What's up everybody, Alex here and welcome to this patch analysis for June 12th, 2020, the Pudgy Update. Now, there's a major change right off the bat. There are several meta shifting changes in here, but let's talk about the first. The first major change is that there's been an increase in the Tier 3 heroes from 15 to 18. That is very significant. First of all, it reduces the odds of 3-starring other heroes in the pool because you've added more heroes, but mainly because it actually prevents the lockout of certain Tier 3 heroes the way it was kind of, it was easier to deny tier 3 heroes before now with this change it's a little easier and let's take a look in freestyle mode as to what that looks like all right guys regarding the changes to the hero pool what you see here at the top is the old one after the initial update of 15 heroes and now tier 3 with the new update is at 18 the result of this is quite simple so you have nine and nine which means that you uh, now after the update you can have two three star heroes of each tier 3 unit Whereas before, if any single person had a tier 3 unit at uh, tier uh, 3 stars, that did not allow you to get another to 3 stars. Um, let alone if anybody else has any copies of the units. So what that basically means is that if you're playing and you, for instance, want to go Ember Spirit, if someone else has an Ember Spirit at 3 stars but no one else is going Ember Spirit, you can actually 3 star Ember Spirit as well. But if even one person has one Ember Spirit sitting on their bench, you will never 3 star Ember Spirit. Now... Theoretically, you won't think again. You won't think that those three additional units make that big a deal, but here it does because those three additional units allow for a second three-star tier three unit. So it is a very significant change and one that you have to be aware of while competing in the current meta. And now let's talk about hero changes. The first change is a nerf to Luna's Eclipse at three stars. The base magic damage has been changed from 200 to 150. Very significant nerf. Uh, she was incredibly power powerful at three stars, and she still is. She still is. Definitely worth chasing that 3-star Luna. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get her um, in time before the nerf, but uh, those of you that did, I hope you guys enjoyed. Omni Knight. This is a huge change. Purification now at 3 stars. Purification has a 2-cell radius instead of 1. This is huge for a number of reasons. One, obviously, the healing element. You're going to be healing additional units, plus if you're running knights, you're generally clustered unless you have the CK 3-star uh, benefit, but you don't usually do, so they're usually pretty, uh, you know, they're pretty uh, bunched up, which is going to allow you to heal much more with the Omni Knight. The other side to this is that it also is a damage uh, dealing ability, and the result is that you might see Omni Knight Quite literally leading in damage at 3 stars simply because of purification. That is a huge heal and damage radius. So, um, very significant change here. Omni Knight, uh, people often look down at uh, purification, but they often overlook the amount of damage that it can do, and it's quite significant. Let's check it out on the board. All right, and here's Omni Knight. So at three stars, he's gonna be doing a two cell radius uh, damage here. Let's see it. So he's gonna get it off pretty quickly here. There it is, as you can see, he almost straight up deleted these Bat Riders and it's uh, in pretty good shape. He's doing uh, almost 6K. Look at that. He completely deleted them. So as you can see, uh, three star Omni Knight's pretty legit. He's barely taking any damage here and he is straight up deleting them. The one thing I would say, uh, to Valve is that I would appreciate if they kept consistent with the three star upgrades uh, It does say when you hover over it. It just it changes the cell rate there But uh, a little consistent would be nice uh, But anyways as you can see Omni Knight is uh, kind of a beast now and worth three star The next hero to get a three star update is Pudge and at three stars he becomes a flesh heap Pudge will gain 500 max hit points and 10% magic resistance for each time an enemy dies within one cell of him Pretty significant. He's gonna be that's like the ultimate tank basically. And uh, well, he's the name of the the update. So let's check him out in freestyle mode. And now for Pudge. Here we got Pudge three stars. He does have the uh, little three star effect there. So he's gonna gain 500 max HP and 10% uh, magic resistance. And I know I'm blocking that there. And then you have the regular Pudge uh, right beside him. The uh, the actual like look is the same. Uh, like well, three star Pudge always looked like like that since the uh, three star kind of. Uh, Kit upgrades here, but uh, as you can see, a very significant increase in health, literally double with that 500%, uh, 500, sorry, uh, base ma health increase. So he is quite, quite tanky now. Still not a DPS fiend. In fact, it looks like he's probably actually going to lose this, despite being a three-star unit. Guys are dying. He's gaining magic resistance. They don't actually track magic resistance anywhere, so I can't actually prove it. But uh, uh, poor Mag, uh, sorry, poor uh, Pudge. It looks like these Magnuses are finally going to win. So I guess we can say that 3-star uh, Omni Knight is better than 3-star Pudge. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out the uh, the other changes. Now we got to talk about Snapfire. Guys, Bronny's took a beating with this update. And the first starts with Snapfire. Mortimer's Kiss's damage changed from 100, 150 to 200. Down to 50, half. 80, almost half. And 150. 
unbelievable nerf here, and the reason why this is a huge, huge, huge nerf, obviously the damage is significant, but Snapfire was one of the ways that you can kind of get Brawnies really rolling in the early game. That's gone. you got to really uh, rely on Bristleback and Beastmaster now. Snapfire is no longer to be kind of shoring up kills, because remember, Mortimer's Kisses would be kind of doing area effect damage and just like sniping kills away from other units that might not be Brawnies. So Snapfire was so useful in Brawny builds. This is a huge, significant nerf. And there's another nerf coming to Brawnies very shortly. In the meantime, let's talk about Viper. So at three stars, Viper now performs Viper Strike for every five attacks. Viper has a very fast attack speed, by the way. The enemy unit takes uh, 250 damage per second and loses 80% move speed and 80% uh, sorry, 80 attack speed with the slowing tapering off over three seconds. So it's like a gradual tapering off effect. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. This is an amazing ability, and let's check it out in freestyle mode. All right, and here's three-star Viper with the new Viper Strike three-star effect, which is going to do uh, damage over time as well as a movement slow and attack speed slow. Let's see it. Oh, Snipefire, Snipefire, you just got nerfed. You're going down. So let's see it. Uh, there's the Viper. So three-star effect, so 500 damage straight up. You're seeing it tick away. Okay, it stopped. Oh, I guess the target uh, must have died there. Okay, so it is it is doing quite a bit. The auto attack is doing more, though. That's interesting to see there. That corrosive skin... And the auto attack is significantly more damage than the three star effect, so perhaps it's not as significant as I originally thought. Still, it's a bonus, but maybe, maybe not as much as you originally would have expected. As I alluded to earlier, Brawnies have received a very significant nerf. Uh, this change is actually pretty neat. It could in some ways be a buff, but um, the uh, the overall kind of Brawny spectrum has been definitely nerfed because it's going to be harder to get them snowballing, okay? So here it is. They changed the health bonus from tier 1 15 bonus uh, per kill and 30 at tier 2 to uh, vary based on the star level of each individual brawny unit. Star 1 brawny, uh, sorry, 1 star brawny units will get 5 and 10 bonus health. So at, uh, you know, when you have full brawnies you get 10. Um, st uh, 2 star units will get 10 and 20. And finally 3 star units will get 20 or 40. So now you'll have a varying degree of brawny bonus depending on the star level of each individual hero. Very interesting change. It basically kind of removes the snowball effect of uh, of Brawnies. Um, and uh, you know what? It's a much needed change because Brawnies were completely uh, de debilitating in this meta. Um, you could barely even counter them with Void sometimes if they got completely out of control. But uh, a very interesting change. And I like I liked this kind of uh, this troubleshooting that they did here. And I hope that it actually pays off. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments section if you have any questions. And as always... Thank you so much for watching, and a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day.